Hi, welcome back this week to The Naked Doctor. I'm Dr. Tammy. I'm Lauren. I'm Allie. We always have fun going down the road mm -hmm. like that, don't we? We do. So we are in our workout attire today. This is the fitness show. Mm -hmm. Super excited. Yep. I got to put on my workout clothes when I woke up. Fitness. Yes. Yes. I know. I texted everybody this morning. Where you're, hey, we're all in kind of black. Well, oh, and then I have the kind of the, blood. Yeah, I love your the, shoes. Like psychedelic. Yeah, I colors. love this. Thank you. Yes. I like to have fun when I work out. Makes it, you know. Because two different colored shoes. That's we'll fun. That, right? yes. <laughs> well, and that's what we're going to be talking about today is having fun when you work mm. out because everybody hears exercise and they just shut down. They're like, I don't mm -hmm. want to do that. And we have so many people who come in, so many patients and they're tired, their hormones are low. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because, you know, I call it the magnet in your butt. If you don't feel like exercising, you're not going to do it. Yeah. So sometimes you got to get your hormones checked and balanced first. But, you know, I, I think once you get energy levels back you want to burn it off mm -hmm. especially the guys with testosterone you give them testosterone they get their levels up they got to burn it off mm -hmm. i mean they got nowhere else for that energy to go sometimes so. yeah it's like jumping up and down just like running out of the building yeah you know, like, i remember growing up you know my i don't know if it was that era but my parents didn't go to there weren't gyms back then mm -hmm. it's kind of like we didn't have internet and cell phones <laughs> back then we didn't have gyms back then <laughs> And so, like, the only exercise people got was, like, walking their dog or, you know. I mean, maybe there were some gyms around, but exercise wasn't something that... My mom used to come to my aerobics class when she was in her 40s. It was fun. She used to come and... I used to go to my mom's aerobics yeah. class. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to find a picture. Yeah, it was mom. fun. And my son, I'd have my son over there in his um, playpen. Mm -hmm. And that's how I learned to count. He would say one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. Sometimes he would just go five, six, seven, eight. That's it was hilarious. adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I think Jane, Jane, awesome. Jane Fonda was kind of the kickoff on all that about yeah. exercise and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What about Jane Richard Fonda. Simmons? Richard Simmons, that's yeah. a little bit later. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jane just, Fonda. He just got a new vibe to it, I guess. Yeah. And I had the leotard, just like Jane Fonda, the leotards with the high. The one they're like, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I'll show oh, the hip bones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was good know, stuff. For me, exercise was really about body transformation because I, you know, I wasn't, I had a lot of hormone problems. And then after I lost the weight and after I had my son, I felt like it was just kind of blobby, all those hormone estrogen problems. You know, I felt like I had big hips and I just really wanted to have that kind of fit tone body. And so mm -hmm. it really was about, you know, I was, after I lost the weight, it really wasn't about you know, being like a supermodel or anything. It was really just about, I want my shape to right. be better. Mm -hmm. And so that's really where I started. And you were talking about your son. My son was the same way because I'd never exercised before. And you know, when they're babies, he was like one or two when I first started really committing mm -hmm. to exercise. And he'd be like, mom, come play with me, you know, because I did stuff at home so they could, yeah. didn't have that gym travel time. I just, I've always been kind of a home exerciser, although I am a member of Planet Fitness, a little plug for Planet Fitness. Right. I think they're awesome. <laughs> they are. But, you know, I always did things at home, like just dance and stuff. Um, but that's always been fun for me. I always have ordered videos. I'm like avid order. Oh my gosh. And I just, I don't have my phone here, but just ordered the one click Fitbit. Allie, well, oh, wait, it's obsessed. probably time for a break. We're going to come back we'll and we're going to talk a little bit about Fitbit. Fitbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fitbit. 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 And um, some different exercises that you can do that are actually fun and how to engage and actually maybe change your body shape. If you're losing weight or you've lost weight, so important to tone mm -hmm. while you're doing that. So we're going to take a little break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to The Naked Doctor. We were talking right before break about the Fitbit, and yes. I got excited because like literally like three seconds before the show, I was like, Allie, we've been talking about the Fitbit, and I need to get mm -hmm. one, so I'm gonna order one, so I'm addicted to the Amazon One Click. I know. So like, I love it. This is a Fitbit, that? and I love that it can calculate my heart rate at any given time. It has some other really cool features, um, but it tells you basically how many calories you're burning for the day, so a lot of times when we're dealing with clients, we have a difficulty Setting them, on, setting them up on how many calories that they need in a day. And this is just gives you a great um, idea of how many you're burning so we can create that calorie deficit. Also with the step counter, 
Yeah. And uh, like you said, the heart rate. And then something that's really cool is the uh, the sleep tracker, which is mm-hmm. like by far my favorite my favorite mm-hmm. thing on there to be like, oh, how much sleep did I actually get last night? And good sleep. Yeah, and it'll be yeah. like, oh, Always. you were, yeah, because yeah, it'll tell you like, oh, you were awake for 48 minutes and you're like, what was I mm-hmm. do- What do you mean I was awake? Like, you mm-hmm. know, you're like, what was I doing? You know, you don't really. Oh, well, there's different sleep cycles. That yes. You're and it go identifies yeah, cool. those. It, it identifies those. Yeah, it goes through all of them. It's really oh, neat. Oh, that's totally cool. Super yeah. Cool. Um, that might trigger somebody to get a sleep study or something then, right? If mm-hmm. they have Definitely. a lot of interruptions. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, it's funny that show The Biggest Loser, they always evaluate people for sleep disorders like sleep apnea and, mm-hmm. you know, even just disruptions in the sleep because you metabolize at night and mm-hmm. you, you can't lose weight. If you're not metabolizing at night, mm. so and if you're not getting important. that good deep REM sleep, it's really hard for you to yeah. function. And then you come see me for hormones, because <laughs> <laughs> progesterone is one of the big sleep mm-hmm. hormones. You know, I got to get that plug in. Yeah, so I do sleep better your levels. now. I do sleep better, marked markedly, after being steadily on my progesterone at mm-hmm. night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how can you tell, um, like, what type of sleep do you need to, need to be in in order to metabolize, like? The most is there, is there? Actually, REM is usually the the the, the sleep where you reset your metabolism. Okay. And we don't get very much of that at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, there. You know, some of the other phases, you you know, you, you're in a restful state, but mm-hmm. actually doing well, it kind of makes sense because it's the rapid eye movement, mm-hmm. and you know, it's kind of triggering all sorts of stuff in the body. But mm-hmm. it's cool because it'll tell you. Like, yeah, it'll tell you exactly how much REM sleep you got also, and then, like, every level of sleep, and then... Light it'll, sleep, it'll deep also, sleep. It'll mm-hmm. also tell you where you lie on the average scale. Mm-hmm. So, like, how much you should be getting for your age, mm-hmm. and then how much you got, and so it'll show you, like, the deficit and things like that. And then it'll also weekly average, you know, every, yeah. every week it'll, it'll give you an average of your... Right. You can set cycle. a bedtime, you can set alarms. I have mine set for, you know, what time, and it'll give me a little beep, you know, a little, little vibration. Oh, you sleep in it? Yeah, that's how oh, yeah, you, that's that's how that's you, how you that's check. Oh, duh! Welcome to Naked Doctor. One moment here. I'm thinking I take all my jewelry off at bedtime, and I just had that little yeah. lapse there for a minute. Okay. Well, um, what I do is I turn, <laughs> um, I turn my, because I have mine set on automatic, where as soon as I lift it, it bright, it mm-hmm. lightens, lights up. Mm-hmm. So I set mine at night to where it automa- where it's not on automatic, where it's on manual. Mm-hmm. That way, I don't when I roll over, I don't see the flash of the mm-hmm. light. Yeah, because it's super all night bright long. Because it is. It's yeah. dark for a while well, and your eyes alone, are just, the, yeah. the blue light or whatever mm-hmm. might wake you up yeah, disrupt <laughs> totally you, disrupt your sleep. it can just be you know when you're having fun in bed too you know you're constantly, your watches are going off oh. and it's distracting <laughs> yeah. is, that no. in bed? is that text message <laughs> <laughs> just texting you at yeah. this hour yeah. right now yeah. yeah it does pick up your text which I like you can set that to not come on if you don't want it to oh, yeah. for like sleep time mm-hmm. yeah, yeah I don't think I'd want that well it's kind of like it, yeah if you put your do not disturb or something it'll, mm-hmm. it'll do that but yeah it's, it's nice. I'm a big proponent. I, I think everyone should get one. I love it. Well, I'm, and I'm analytical, so yeah, I like it too. And another thing that was nice was the the um, the silent alarm. Mm-hmm. So like it'll actually vibrate mm-hmm. to uh, for an alarm instead of like be really loud. I mean, you can make it a you know a noise alarm as well. But like that was something cool, like just mm-hmm. to remind me of a you know if I had to um, like when, well when I used to have the older one drink more water. Well, well that, yeah, yeah actually yeah water. it'll it'll give you notifications for that too. A little silent alarm, a little zzz, mm-hmm. you know. But yeah, it's like, I remember like when, when uh, I always had to leave at 2.30 to pick up, you know, Hayden from school. And like if I was working, you know, I didn't want to be too zoned into what I was doing to mm-hmm. not to lose time. So every 2.30 would, you know, oh, yeah. me to make sure I was like, okay, You can cool, also set it to where if you've been sitting for a long period of time, it reminds you to go get your steps okay. in for the hour. Yeah. So it'll go buzz at me if I haven't gotten in 250 <laughs> steps for the hour. Get moving. It'll, yeah. yeah, it'll give me the little yeah, nudge. Some people don't get enough calories, believe it or not. You know, you think Yeah, about, absolutely. We have yeah. that situation. You've got to be able to burn. Mm-hmm. So And your body goes into storage mode. And if so. you get in too big of a deficit where it's more than 500 calories a day, you know, you can kick your body into that, that, that zone where you... Should you have st- yeah, go start no, just it. where you shut yeah. down, where you, yeah. your body goes into that starvation mode. So we, we don't want have that. Fitbit as a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, totally. totally. So let's talk about a couple different things. You know, one of the things that I really like to address is interval training because I'm going to talk about that in the Blackboard segment. But it burns for you. It works with your mm-hmm. hormones. Dr. Tabata, who actually first studied it, worked with insulin, got diabetics off their insulin within yes. a week or two. I mean, it's amazing. Phenomenal. And it burns after burn. It just burns for you after you do the exercise. So to me, I like to maximize my time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've always been an exerciser at home. I love the We Just Dance. You know, I've got my little app circle. So we'll have to leave just a couple of minutes so we can show people the app circle. Mm-hmm. 
But I mean, that's a total body workout. I thought when I got it, it was just going to be abs, but I mean, like truly, literally, like I have like more guns. Let's than go, I've ever Tammy. Had. Like, oh, little I those guns. Love it. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you get your tickets. Yeah, yeah, tickets. I mine. <laughs> but you know, I love Planet Fitness. We mentioned that, and um, it's to me ten bucks a month. I go in there, you no know, excuse. I can do all my strength. There's no excuse, no excuse yeah, yeah, and there's no judgment in there. It's, it really is what they say it is. Mm -hmm. There's so many locations, and, um, and when I do interval training, literally, I've got it down to four minutes. So I do some strength training, too, but when I get on that elliptical, it's literally like four minutes because you do 20 seconds high intensity, 20 seconds rest, 20 seconds high intensity. And you can do that out running, and you can do that. Yeah, I do when do. I'm out running. I mm -hmm. do. I'll, I'll blast up hills, kind of level out on the downhill. <laughs> it's kind of like, well, it's kind of like playing sports. You know, I played sports growing up. It's like that's what every sport I play is. It's mm -hmm. intervals. It's like first sprint. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's like rest. Sure. Da -da -da -da. Um, so, yeah, that's like, it, and it always... It's like it just keeps you. It keeps the body shape. guessing, so you just don't get in that lulled well, and zone. It's, it's kind of paleo exercise. So, like the paleo diet, it's the way our ancestors mm -hmm. ate. Mm -hmm. Paleo, we should coin that term. Paleo exercise is the sprinting because they were hunters mm -hmm. and gatherers, and they were running and they were sprinting after stuff yeah. and being chased by stuff. <laughs> and so they weren't like going out for runs, Upper motivation for the fun. Yeah, it, it's like we you know people ask me a lot of times, like you know, how do I lose my belly? How do I lose my belly? I'm like, you got to sprint. You got to move fast. It's not about running, mm -hmm. you know, three miles, you know. At a and crunches constant. aren't going to make it happen. Uh, you crunches, know? Yeah, it's I mean, I don't even happen. do, I don't yeah. even do ab stuff. You know, it's like, yeah, you, at one, at some point you may want to build some abs, but, you know, it's like, yeah, you got to, you got to shred that. And the only way to shred it is, you know, mm -hmm. you're like, basically you can look at it as you're running so fast. It's mm -hmm. like, like, that's just flying off. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love and it. And you've actually done competitions. Have you done any competitions? No. But I've always thought about it, but I'm. I get Beat a little pageants, shy and that kind not, of stuff. No. But um, you'll have to throw some screenshots up, uh, like some of your bodybuilding stuff. Yeah, I so, got a video. You know, I always <laughs> believe that when you're working with a coach, work with people who walk the walk, talk yeah. the walk. I mean, I was just thinking as we were sitting here, we all are avid exercisers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you come and meet with us and you want progress and you want to work with a coach, like work with people who actually walk the walk, mm -hmm. who actually do the work and um, you know as we're sitting here like these are our grungy workout clothes because that's yeah, I mean, you guys look great but I'm just saying our Thanks everyday workout clothes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like we just had to go buy workout clothes for yeah. the show yeah. that's like this is our everyday yeah I could attire. live in workout attire mm -hmm. I could live in it it would be fine with me totally me too mm -hmm. I feel the same way so just from the standpoint yeah you want to look good or yeah you want to be thin but I think just from the standpoint you know they always say health but you know, like I'm going to talk about in the blackboard segment, it helps your brain health, helps you actually regrow new nerve cells. So you'll yes. stay tuned for that segment. Um, and, you know, just the benefits towards just helping you feel better and helping with depression. And depression. I was just about to say, no matter balance. what the situation, like doing something active and working out, Jeez. I always feel better after. Absolutely. Even if I'm like, oh, I don't want to go. That's how it's not like I, whatever it is. Whatever it is. It's going to make everything better. Yeah. I totally agree. Well, just get if, moving. Even if it's like, it's not like I'm like, I wake up like, I can't wait to do a workout. No, I'm like, ugh, you know, I got to go to the gym. But like, I love it because it's like, okay, I'm going to do it. And then afterwards, I'm like, so good. Mm -hmm. the Getting there room. is that's the, the biggest battle. Part. It just it is. Work. Get yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I just remember think, that. Getting I, there is the hardest, yeah. the biggest battle. And a lot of times I counsel people, don't go home. Go, you know, bring yeah. your stuff with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go straight yeah. from yeah. the office. Yeah. But it's all about micro habits. You know, it's just, you got to create the habit of it. Because mm -hmm. once I get, you know, I'm a little obsessive, but once I get the habit of something. Yeah. Well, when you, when you start seeing the results of something, you're like, oh, I like what that did for me. And so then, yeah, you have that motivation that just... Yeah. That triggers that, like, okay, cool, I want to do more. Yeah. And, and if then, you are an at-home workouter, as you are, mm -hmm. what are some tips there that keep you from, what can you offer? I've always been gym person. So what do you do? How do you get in that set? I'm just such a creature of habit. I'm just an obsessive Do you do it as thinker, soon as you get so. home, or do you? Um, it just kind of depends. You know, like, I have a few days off during the week, so that's always kind of a routine. Get up and meditate and, yeah. you know, make sure I have a little protein shake and let mm -hmm. that settle down a little bit. And then... Before I get to doing my writing or anything like that, you know, that's always on my agenda. I love to do my little app circle at home. I have some weights. I have some bands that I do. You know, yes, kind of bands things. are great. Resistance. Um, 
But then when I when I make the commitment to go into town to the gym, I live out in the country. So when I actually make that commitment to drive into town to the gym, it's like I'm in and out of there pretty quick. Literally, I do my interval training in like four minutes. Yeah. And I could literally just leave after that. But then I do a little strength training, and sometimes I tan a little bit or do a massage. Uh-huh. So um, that's always fun. But yeah, I think I think it's just committing to the process and. I always say life's a marathon, not a sprint, but yeah. you know, keeping your hormones balanced and having the energy to do it is huge because when you're tired and you don't feel like it, it just doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. So what are you, what's, oh, what so are we I want to about? mention this before we go, this is our detox complex and we deal a lot with leaky gut and helping people get their energy levels back in hormones, but there's an ingredient in here that also heals leaky gut. We could do a whole show on leaky gut, but there's an ingredient. If we might. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we absolutely will. Um, there's an ingredient in here called glutamine that helps with muscle recovery. So if you're one of those people that gets really sore doing any kind of exertion. Too much lactic acid. Yeah, lactic acid. So that helps the lactic acid. It helps inflammation. One of the biggest reasons that people don't exercise is because they have so much inflammation and it hurts. Mm-hmm. Joints. So, yeah. So we can also do stem cells as well. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, if, if you're hurting, we can do different joints and things like it that. It works. So, yeah. I mean, this knee... Yeah. yeah, you got good. But it's so, just so, so yeah. good. I was so excited about it. I mean, yeah. you know, I didn't. What was to hurt? And I mean, I didn't think I had anything to lose, and mm-hmm. I had so everything to gain. Yeah, good stuff. All right, well, it's probably time for a little break, so we're gonna take a little break. We'll come back with a blackboard segment, and we'll be right back. When I came back to see Dr. Tammy in January, because of the month I had had, the month of December. Um, we were just having a discussion and you know what I might be able to do and I said I'm just going to be honest with you I've made an appointment tomorrow to go you know check into this stem cell research and she said well we do that here and it was a no-brainer for me because I already had a relationship with her and trust her and um, so that was when we decided to to try the treatments and I signed up for the three-month program and I've just been totally pleased with the results that I've had because I've not gone back to that where I was just in such excruciating pain. Um, and we've made great progress. Before we started the program, I told her I, I could fall asleep being asleep. You know, I was just so run down, tired. I was depressed all the time. And um, I just find myself not having those battles like I was, where there was a constant battle. My conditions are just so extreme that um, the improvements that I've made have kept me from feeling like the best result for me is just death. And, and to me that's been this, you know, the God's, God sent blessing that Dr. Tammy has, has given me is that I don't feel that way. Um, and to me that's worth every penny that I've spent and uh, you know I can't say enough about this lady and and her staff and what they've done for me. Hey Dr. Tammy here welcome to the chalkboard segment of the show and I'm going to be talking about hormones and exercise and it's like you can't talk about hormones without exercise and you really can't talk about exercise without hormones they both play integral into each other so you know it's like if you have hormone imbalances you need to exercise and if you're exercising your hormones are working with you so it's kind of a Chicken or the egg, which came first, a hormone imbalance, you didn't exercise, or can you not exercise because you're too tired because your hormones are out of balance? So we're going to talk a little bit about how to get that balance back. So, you know, one of the interesting things is that with your hormones, Dr. Tabata, who actually invented interval training, or what we call HIT training, actually studied the effects of insulin, we'll talk about that in just a minute, and that the fat burning actually keeps working for you up to 48 hours after you do the exercise. So if you just do aerobics or you're just out walking or biking, that's only burning calories while you're doing that. So I'm gonna explain how the hormones work that will do what we call the afterburn. So I wanna give you a little hormone 101 here. And I wanna talk about there's different types of hormones. Everybody, when they hear hormone, they think estrogen and they immediately shut down and they think estrogen causes cancer or they think testosterone causes prostate cancer and they're immediately, they just have all these negative connotations with it. 
So one of the things that I like to do is demystify hormones for people because there are literally hundreds if not thousands of hormones signal messengers in your body that dictate every process in your body from your metabolism to your sleep to your cholesterol management everything that happens in your body is dictated by hormones so lots of different types of hormones I could do a whole talk just on female hormones but I'm going to table that for another day so there's three different types of hormones one is steroids and this is the one that we typically think of as male and female hormones um, cholesterol is also a hormone that actually makes the sterile part cholesterol makes the steroid hormones and these hormones work at the level of the DNA inside the nucleus where the cell actually breathes. And then there's hormones called peptides. I love peptides because peptides are really growing and again, I could do a whole talk just on peptides, but it's kind of like on your smartphone, there's an app for that. There's a peptide for that. So literally there's a peptide if you want to increase your tanning, um, it's called melanotan. There's peptides for different hormones um, that you're deficient in. So peptides are really cool. And peptides work at the cell membrane receptors. So they work a little bit differently. They don't actually work so much inside the DNA, but they're receptors and help upregulate and downregulate certain um, reactions. And then amino acids make up peptide chains. So the amino acid hormones are very similar to peptides in that they can influence nitrogen. So if you've ever heard of nitric oxide, that's the oxygen or respiration that happens um, at the cellular level. You've probably heard of people working out and they take nitrous oxide supplements so it really helps enhance that process and um, the sympathetic nervous system that drives your fight or flight that also drives your ability to um, increase your energy levels when you're exercising are also dictated by these peptide hormones there's a difference between anabolic and catabolic hormones and usually we think of in the steroid uh, category that some hormones actually build muscle or build tissue and then some actually tear it down and you want that tearing down process because in order to build new muscle you actually have to shred or you actually have to tear down um, certain muscle fibers to build them back up so the guys that you see are people that body build and that's not every, for everybody i get that but the people that do body build actually have to have some what they call catabolism or breakdown to build new so a couple of the different hormones i want to mention that are very integral to exercise the main one is insulin and insulin regulates your sugar storage and one of the best things you can do even if you're not interested in exercise but if you want to lose weight anytime you have a large carbohydrate or sugar load the best thing that you can do is get up and move because insulin removes sugar from the bloodstream so if you had the bloodstream here and you had the sugar floating around in here insulin gets secreted by the pancreas which then moves that sugar out to either store it in muscle fibers or store it in the fat so if you want to train your body to burn sugar preferentially as fast as possible get up and go for a walk because otherwise the body says well there's sugar here excess sugar so we're just going to put it in the fat and we'll save it for later because they're not going to use it right now so you want to maximize insulin when you're exercising and you don't really want to eat a, a big sugar load because that will cause insulin to overwork and then um, then you got storage issues going on but if you are going to have sugar make sure you get up and move glucagon is another hormone that is secreted by the liver uh, and some from the pancreas that releases the sugar for the fuel so you want to make sure that your glucagon reserves are good because you want to be able to mobilize that sugar cortisol everybody knows that from belly fat but cortisol can actually it's released every time you exercise from stress so some exercises and i know people are going to be like eh, don't say that but things that are really stressful to the body can like like the you know where they throw the tires and they're doing all those things that are really stressful for the body those things can cause more stress and more cortisol response than is really good for the body and there are certain hormone issues like people with thyroid issues are so tired that doing a lot of heavy exercise will stress the body more than will actually help them and so too high a cortisol or too low a cortisol can be an issue adrenaline is a hormone that helps you release energy testosterone helps you build muscle so when we have patients who come in and they have low testosterone males or females we want to make sure that they have plenty of testosterone that's a more anabolic hormone that can actually help you build muscle igf1 and growth hormone are very interesting peptide type hormones and we have some great peptides um, unfortunately right now the best route for that's inductible so if you want we, you know we can make an appointment we can consult about 
um, how much of the peptides you need and check blood levels. But these are really interesting. IGF-1 actually stimulates something called metabolic active tissue or MAT and can help you lose weight. So that's super important as well. But those are stimulated when you exercise. And then this is a new one. I'm always learning new things and I've actually been studying this a little bit lately and I'm not real familiar with it. IGF-1 was actually one that I kind of brought about um, in my learning process about six months ago. So that was relatively new as well. But this is called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or it's also called BDNF, and it actually creates new brain cells. So that is a reason to exercise alone because we used to think that you don't create new brain cells, and now we know that you can. So exercise, besides moving your lymphatics, besides helping you feel better and treating depression, actually can help your mood by this BDNF and actually create new brain cells, especially if you've killed them with alcohol or something like that. So you wanna create new brain cells, but issues like Alzheimer's and things with memory issues, exercise can really enhance your memory and your mood. So very cool hormones. And all of these hormones influence the way you exercise, the efficiency of how you exercise, but also hormone imbalances, especially male or female hormone imbalances. Every time you exercise, all these are enhanced. So I tell people, if you want to enhance your testosterone naturally, you got to exercise, strength, train, use those muscles, that kind of thing. So fascinating stuff with hormones and exercise. Thanks for watching the show today. I just kind of wanted to end a little bit with this ab circle. I, I love this. I have this at home and it seems a little corny at first, but um, basically it's just got a motion kind of like that and you can work on your biceps and there's all sorts of great moves. There's, uh, you can do push-ups on it and just, it's a, a good overall workout. So um, just fun stuff that you can do. You can do just dance on the Wii, you know, take a walk and do your sprints, your high intensity interval training whatever just do something get moving that feels good check us out on our facebook page the naked doctor and we have instagram and uh, healingartcenters.com is our home location so come see us let us help you and uh, my girl's gonna come back and say goodbye and we'll see y'all next week Mwah! love you guys Kisses. <laughs>